Looks like I found a new open source data analysis companion. Introducing EDA GPT. EDA is your personal and comprehensive solution for all your data analysis needs. Whether you're analyzing structured data in CSV or XLSX files, or you can even utilize it in SQL Lite format. You can generate insightful graphs, different types of detailed analysis of your data, chatting with your data, or conducting in-depth analysis of unstructured data such as PDFs and images. EDA GPT is here to assist you in almost every step of the way when it's correlated to data. Just take a look at this Google Colab example which is showcasing EDA GPT. This is basically where they have ingested a table. This is a structured table and they fed it into EDGPT so that you can ask it a series of different types of data analytical questions. In this case, you can see that the first question that was asked is about the instrumentalness of the genre having maximum liveliness as well as having it so that they tell the genre name. And you can see that this is just one little example which is going to fo focus on providing that name. And if we go down to different types of questions as we scroll, you can see that there's various sorts of types of qualitative data being exported with the help of EDA GPT. You can see that there's predictive modeling, charts, graphs, or even numbers. This is the capability of this amazing framework, which you can easily get started with today. Now, this is something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video, where I'm going to be showcasing how you can get started, how you can actually install this, as well as showcasing the capabilities of EDA GPT. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's just get straight into this video. We're going to first talk about certain ways as to how you can use this app. There's actually, I believe, seven or eight different methods to utilize this app. You can focus on structured data analysis where you can analyze structured data by uploading your files and you can have it so that the EDA GPT is going to focus on interactively providing visuals or data correlated analysis. You have graph generations, you have analysis of different questions, you have comparisons of the performance of the data that you upload. You can utilize NLP to help you with this. In my opinion, the best is utilizing Claude 3.5 as your 3.5 sonnet as your data analytical lm this is because of the capability of the large language model itself and helping you have it so that it's interactively working with the gpt agent of eda you're going to be able to focus on unstructured data analysis you have multimodal search where you can upload different types of I would say file types you can upload images and it will be able to analyze these different types of file types you have data cleaning and editing as well, which is really helpful if you are working with data entry as a task or you're working with large amounts of data that needs to be cleaned up. Now, there's a lot of key features that I'll mention before we move forward, such as comprehensive data analysis tools. You're going to be able to support various sorts of types of files, such as CSV. You have SQL, Lite, PDFs, images, audio files, even YouTube videos, which is nuts. You have a special class called LangGraph Chain. And it's basically designed to handle complex queries. This is related to more complex, I would say, data analytical uploads where you're going to be focusing on higher, I would say, data architectures as well as advanced RAG and multi-query listings and filtering. You have the ability to focus on interactive visualizations as well as different types of context-rich analysis reports. You can utilize natural language for interactions for generating visuals and insights supporting a wide range of LMs. You have auto clean features of data cleaning and classification models for faster inference. These are all the features associated with EDA GPT 
this is an open source framework which not a lot of people know about and it's something that i definitely recommend that you get started with right away if you do not have a data analytical gpt many people use julius as well as other sorts of data analytical tools but in my opinion this is currently the best framework for data analysis at the current moment so how do you get started well there's a couple of prerequisites that we're going to need to fulfill beforehand you're going to need to make sure that you have python installed as your programming language you need to also make sure that you have git installed you will also need to make sure that you have pip installed and once you have these three prerequisites fulfilled what you're going to need to do is first copy and clone this repository to do so just simply copy this command over here go into your command prompt if you're on windows and what you want to do is just simply paste this in and start cloning this repository. It'll take a couple of seconds, but in the meantime, you can copy the next command, which is cd eda gpt. And the reason why is because we're going to be going into the eda gpt folder, the directory to start installing the requirements. So once this is finished, I'll move forward with that. Now, in the meantime, as it's cloning, there's a couple of other things that you can do in the meantime, which is getting the API keys from pandas, AI, you have Google Gemini's API. If you're going to be utilizing that model, you can get that. And basically, you just want to get all the different API keys that you're going to be utilizing, such as Tavly or Anthropics API or Hugging Faces API. So, if you're going to be utilizing certain features, tools, or large language models, gather those APIs and then we'll set it up afterwards as, as we install this. So, once this is finished cloning, I can proceed with that. And it finally cloned. Now we just need to get into the CD EDA GPT directory. And once that is done, we can then copy this next command, which is creating a virtual environment. This is where you would want to create a virtual environment directory. And you can just simply copy and paste this command and you can have it installed. Within a couple of seconds, you're going to start installing all the packages that are essential for this. And once that is done, you can then set your API keys once that's finished cloning it. So you just want to open up the EDA GPT folder, select that folder, and you can just trust the authors at your own discretion. And then what you're going to need to do is set up the secrets.toml inside the Streamlit folder. So you would want to head over to the Streamlit folder, you want to go to this config file, and then you want to basically set all the different things or the API keys that you want to set. Once you have set that, you can just simply start up this uh, server or this application. On your local host with streamlet and you can just do so by going back into edgpt's command prompt and then you want to paste in this command and from here you just want to give it uh, allow it access based off your own discussion and in this case i didn't specify a model or any sort of i would say any sort of uh api key that would have it functional so it's going to show this error but this is how you can easily start up the server and you can access edgpt now i really want you guys to understand what this platform is capable of doing so i want you guys to watch a video from the creators of this project itself which will explain all the feature lists explain what the project is about so that you get a better idea so i will now queue up that video so that you can understand what eda gpt is about and how you can use it hello and welcome to eda gpt app in the bottom part of home page you will find a notebook attached showing an example of what eda gpt can do you can have a look after home section, we have EDA GPT section and edit data section. Here you can edit and clean data using AutoClean. Currently, this section supports CC data. Next is settings section. Here you can see two main features. You can choose among embeddings that are suitable for your unstructured data by experimentation if needed. Also, you can add your own API keys based on the model you want to use. Next, we will look into EDA GPT. Here we have structured and unstructured sections. Let's first look into some instructions. Instructions contain information on how to use this app. Here is a comparison with Pandas AI released by Pandas and EDA GPT. It beats Pandas AI in almost all benchmarks. Its ability to form complex queries is really impressive. Next, we have the unstructured section. Here you can collect unstructured data and store it into a PDF. You can upload and let the LLM analyze it. You can choose from a wide variety of LMS. But I would love if you could explore this section by yourself. So let's look into structured data. Here you can analyze tables in CSVE or XLSX formats. You can also upload SQL Elite database and connect your Postgres database. We will use Gemini 1.5 Pro for this demo and set the temperature to 0.93. After setting temperature, let's choose a CSV data called Gapminder Unclean. After uploading the dataset, you will see a data frame. 
It contains data about countries, GDP per capita, life expectancy, and years in which these parameters were measured. Click on Analyze to analyze the data. Soon, a report will be shown. It will show you initial EDA and plots on the data. The analysis report describes the data, talks about summary statistics, it derives insights from the data, and shows you its conclusion. This detailed analysis report is the first step of performing EDA using EDA GPT. Next, you can see various charts, graphs, and derive insights from them. You have pair plot between numerical columns. You have bar, box, and pie charts here. Look how beautiful the distribution between continents look. You can talk to EDA GPT and ask it questions on the data. It will respond with answers and code. Let's ask it some questions. Within few seconds, your answer will be shown. So it responded. And Q8 is the right answer. Let's ask it some more question. Wonder how population of India, China, and USA evolved over the years. No worries, EDA GPT will get your answer. It will run for a few seconds and after analyzing, it will respond with answer. Here is the answer. Notice how this time it responded with a graph. And it seems both India and China's population increased by a huge factor. While population of USA remained almost steady. Let's ask one more question and see how it respond. We will ask it to answer in words. Again, it will take around 10 seconds to answer. Here is the answer. Notice how it prompted you to ask better questions. It responded with an intelligent question after critically thinking about the question we just asked. This will help the language model take better decision. Let's take a question from its suggested list. We'll copy this question and paste it here. Let's run and wait for a few seconds. Here is the answer. It returned three things this time. A graph, country with highest life expectancy and lowest. The country with highest life expectancy during that time appears to be Japan and lowest is some country in Africa. Let's analyze the graph. Notice how population of Asia increased so much over time, while Europe, Africa, and Oceania almost have zero slope. This way, you can use natural language to ask complex questions about the data. The code generated will give you the answers. Hope you liked the app and give it a try. We are open to feedbacks. Please email to us at mrpolymathematica at gmail.com. Welcome and have a nice day. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is the capability of this amazing AI data companion that you can actually utilize completely for free on your computer. So I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. I hope you got some sort of value out of it, guys. I definitely recommend that you read through their GitHub repository because there is a lot of information that you will definitely gain from it. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give them a star. Make sure you follow me on Patreon because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can, you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.